this pizza delivery driver from the place that I always order my pizza from is the most incompetent motherfucker alive. I swear to God. Jeez. I need something to rant about and this motherfucker it just I just need to rant. And since it's my channel, I'll talk about it. <sighs> Some backstory. Yes, there's a backstory to a, a pizza place. Who would have thought? So, usually I always order pizza from this one place. I'm not going to say the name because I don't like to give out names. Yeah, I think that's how it's done. Yeah. They're like the best pizza here in Edmonton. They have some amazing shit. Then we realized, I think, that they uh, switched management because, like, the new management is kind of weird, but they still do the good pizza. So, once the new management took over, the first time I called them, I ordered my usual medium pepper, so medium vegetarian. No olives, because I can't stand olives and shit. Yeah, so I ordered my medium vegetarian with no olives. Takes about 40 minutes to get here. Piping hot. Excellent. I When I first ordered, I said, okay, I, like, I have cash. I hang up. I go look at my wallet. I realize I don't have cash. I call back saying... Can I use debit instead? They go, yeah, sure, why not? It's only been five minutes since I last called them. So I asked to use debit when they get here. They said, no problem. The new delivery guy shows up, gives me the pizza. I'm waiting for him to give him the debit machine. He goes like, oh, and, uh, where's the cash? I, like, I asked for a debit machine. He goes like, oh, they, I didn't bring it. So I'm assuming I'm supposed to give this pizza back to him and he's gonna give go back and get me a debit machine. So I'm just going to, I'm about to give him the back pizza. He goes like, you don't have no cash on you. Shut up, Facebook. I go like, no, all I have is debit holding this card. He goes, okay, I'll go get one. I go like, okay, here's your pizza back. He was like, no, just keep it. I look at him, he's like, are you sure? He was like, yeah. I'm just standing there going like, are you really sure? He goes like, yes. I go, okay, so I take it with me. I eat it. Guy never comes back, so I'm thinking, hey, I got a free pizza. Guy might have been fired for being a dumb shit by giving away free pizza. A couple of weeks go by, I order my usual from them. I tell them, I, the guy, the manager picks up the phone. I say the same thing. Medium pizza, vegetarian, no olives. I'm expecting him to say something. Oh, by the way, we're going to charge you for the pizza that was not paid before. So, you know, stuff like that, because that would make sense. And I would say, sure, no problem, as long as you tell me up front. But no, manager didn't say anything, so I'm assuming there was no problem at it. So, me assuming that there was no problem, delivery driver comes along. Gives you the price of the pizza, plus he adds to the other pizza from before. And I'm just looking at him and go like, your manager never said anything about charging me for the other pizza. You're just doing this on your own pocket. He goes like, yeah, because I forgot the debit machine last time. And I didn't want to come back because I assumed you were busy. That's what he said. He thought I was busy, so he didn't want to come back. So he didn't want to come back because of his own fault. How is that my fault? I go like, I'm only paying for this pizza. If your manager on the phone would have told me that I should pay for the other pizza on top of this one, I would have no problem. But since I don't have enough money to pay for the second pizza, I'm only paying for this pizza and your tip. You're lucky you're getting a tip. He goes like, but sir, this comes out of my pocket. Too bad for you. You're the one who decided to be incompetent. So yeah, he goes off. Oh yeah, and one more thing I noticed about this guy who's just the most incompetent fucking piece of shit. 
Not a piece of shit. I'm sorry, that's kind of harsh. I'm just saying he's very incompetent. He gives you the debit machine. Puts in zero, zero, zero. Y you know, I'm a good guy. I put in the price that they put in. But if you go to any other house or apartment in this area, they would fuck over this guy so much by putting in, like what, five dollars? Because the guy didn't even put the thing down when usually the driver is supposed to put in the full price? That's just a little thing that bugs me about him. Yeah, so I just put the full price in there, plus his tip. Because I don't want to be a complete asshole. So yeah, a couple more weeks go by, I order from the same place. He comes in, hands me the debit machine, he goes like, sir, can you write down $22 in there? I'm thinking, god damn it guy, stop doing this shit. Any fucking guy can just put in a random number like five, four dollars. I would do it too, but I'm afraid of going to jail for the most measly shit. Because, you know, over here you can go to jail for over little things. Because, like, hey, what are you in jail for? Killing a fucker. What are you in here for? Stabbing my boss. What are you in here for? Uh, fucking up this guy's pizza by giving him the wrong change. Time for rape tonight. Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, yeah. That's one thing about that guy. Today which is a couple of weeks more after, 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 you know, down the line. I order from the place again. The incompetent fucker comes along. Give me the goddamn debit machine. It's zero, zero, zero. Doesn't even give me the price. I'm thinking like, what the fuck? And I'm also thinking, didn't I order also garlic bread? He was like, no, you didn't. I go like, yeah. He goes like, I'll call. It's like, hey, do you order dollar bread? It's like, no, okay. Hands up, it's like, you suck at customer service. So anyway, he just looks at me, he's like, I'm looking at him, he's like, so what's the price? He was like, oh, looks into his pocket, or goes, oh, that's the wrong one, that's the wrong one, that's the wrong one. He's like, he gives me this, is this yours? Is it the right address? Buddy, you're gonna get fucked over one of these days. Holy shit. Oh, that's what makes me rage so much about this guy. Oh, I don't know whether to call this place and tell the manager about how incompetent his driver is. I don't know if I should because I'm assuming that this guy's family because they sound uh, Polish. So I'm guessing they're family, so that's his brother or something. So I don't know if I should call them or not. If they're not family, because like, god damn. If I'm not fucking him over, someone else is definitely fucking him over by putting in the wrong price. I'm wondering how the fuck this place makes money at with the nuke. This guy just going around door to door, just giving the debit machine and not even putting the full price in. Just assuming that we as a society, shut up Facebook are going to be nice enough and loyal enough to actually put the actual price in. At least I would do it, because like, like I said, I don't want to go to jail for some measly stupid shit. But yeah, I gotta say this guy is very incompetent as a fucking, of all fucks. What do you guys think? Take it easy, human nation. Bye.